Yo, what is up CHH fans? Welcome back to another episode of Plus CHH, the series on this channel that proves just how good CHH really is. On today's video, we're going to be speaking about the upcoming movie, Spider-Man Across the Spider-Verse Part 1. In the previous movie, Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse, the music used within the movie only enhanced the amazing scenes within it. In this episode, I'm going to be showing a couple of songs that would be perfect for the upcoming Spider-Man movie Across the Spider-Verse Part 1. Some of these songs are lighthearted, some of these songs are impactful, and some of these songs just hit too hard not to use. Now let's get into the video. In the previous movie, Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse, there were scenes I like to call quip scenes, or the comedic and lighthearted scenes. These scenes either had uplifting music, chill music, calm music, or family-friendly music. So for this section, I'm going to be highlighting a couple of amazing songs within the CHH space that would be perfect for moments like that. An amazing song for one of these scenes would be Ty Brassel's To The West Side. Not only is this song perfect for being introduced into a new environment or seeing new characters involved in the movie, but this is also a perfect song to see where Miles Morales is and to see how he's interacting with his environment. My time. Another perfect song for these type of scenes, quip scenes, lighthearted scenes, or whatever you might call them, would be Ty Brassel's I'm Grateful. This song is perfect to show Miles Morales' gratefulness that he's still alive and survived the previous tasks from the previous movie, or it's perfect to show how light and how airy and how grateful everybody within the community is. This song also has a similar sound to Sunflower that is also used in the previous movie and seems like it might be used in the Across the Spider-Verse movie as well. Now that Miles Morales has finally stepped into his role as the Spider-Man in his universe, the song Destiny by Ty Brassel is the perfect song for that moment. Aaron Cole's Einstein is a perfect song for when Miles Morales is either in school, near his school, or even just chilling and possibly making jokes. No Big Deals over here is the perfect song for when Miles Morales is interacting with those in his community or those around him. This song just has that perfect sound for when you're around others or just having fun. So it would be perfect for a scene where Miles Morales is having fun or enjoying his time wherever he is. In every Spider-Man movie, there seems to be an auto scene or what some might call suspenseful scenes. Scenes where you don't know what's going to happen next and that just seems so eerie and mysterious. So in this section of the video, I'm going to show some songs that would help add to those mysterious and suspenseful moments. Ty Brassel's Night Dreaming gives off that perfect sound for one of Miles Morales' nighttime strolls, where he's either trying to figure something out or where he's realizing something that he didn't notice before. In the previous movie, we were introduced to a scene where Miles Morales finally figured out how he got those special powers that he has and night dreaming would have been perfect for one of those moments and if there are any equivalents in the next movie this is the song to go with lately i've been spending time by my Halvey's cold water just brings that perfect intensity for a moment where miles morales is either about to come against one of his opposition's enemies or come against something that he was not expecting to see this might be a song they use when miles morales is ready to fight or they might use it when he realizes things aren't as they seem. Either way, Halvey's Cold Water is perfect for the job. Spider-Man Across the Spider-Verse, being a Marvel movie, is obviously going to have action scenes, or what I call flip scenes. These scenes have high action, intense moments, and things that leave you on the edge of your seat waiting to see what happens next. So in this section, I'm going to be showing songs that have that same punch as those scenes would. John Keith's Limitless is the perfect song for when Miles Morales is about to pull out some of his new moves or some things he's learned over the years. This song would help enhance an action scene where Miles Morales is either about to fight or already is fighting, showing that he's limitless and has no limits and can overcome the opposition. Similar to the Into the Spider-Verse Spider Team, Paris Cariz and Jerry Mana have both teamed up and released Waves Crashing from Super Splash Bros. 2 is a perfect song for an action scene. 
it kind of gives off that sound where you're ready to fight, already fighting, or you're already in battle and succeeding. The song Waves Crashing is a great duo between Jerry Mana and Paris Cariz and might just be perfect for a team action I could really make a dollar off straight jacket. Within the first movie Into the Spider-Verse, fans witness scenes like overcoming scenes or should I say web slinger scenes. Scenes where Miles Morales had to overcome the trials he was going through in order to get moving and do what he was meant to do. So in this section of the video, I'm going to be showing the perfect songs for an overcoming scene or a moment where Miles Morales has to push past his limits. Considering that Lecrae was in the Miles Morales PlayStation game, there's no doubt that he has to be in the movie too. Lecrae's Restored is the perfect song for a Miles Morales overcoming scene where he realizes he actually has the potential to do what he's supposed to do. This song is the perfect song not only because the beginning of the music also sounds like a similar sound effect from the first movie, but also because Lecrae is showing how he overcame and is being restored and Miles Morales might go through a similar moment within the movie. Try living apart from God. At times I was feeling so far from God. My faith in his people. Sinny's Solstice Baby is the perfect song for this because not only is Sinny talking about the victory he needs and that this song is for him, but it's also the perfect sound for Miles Morales to get ready to go into battle or get ready to unlock his full potential. Sinny created the perfect song for cinema and I think this might just be the movie that needs to use it. Paris Cariz's The Light is another great song for a web slinger scene because not only does this song become more hype over time, but just as the song is building up, so might Miles Morales' confidence. I said. Last but not least, the web swinger scene, or should I say the continuation. Since this is the part one of the Across the Spider-Verse series, or should I say movie franchise, there's obviously going to be a next movie if it's successful enough which it most likely will be. And the perfect song for this moment is Andy Mineo's I Ain't Done. This is the perfect song to leave a movie off on to let people know what they can anticipate or expect from the next movie. I hope you enjoyed this plus CHH video of Spider-Man Across the Spider-Verse Part 1. If you think any of these songs should be in the next movie, let me know in the comments below. If I missed any songs that should be in this movie, let me know also in the comments. See you on the next video.